Our lesson for today will be looking at PNU 1501. The topic for today is measurement. The subtopic will be looking at the area. The question for today will be looking at assignment number three, question five. Let us start. Before we look at the actual question, remember that it is very important to review the equation for different shapes. Today we'll be looking at area, not perimeter. So the area of a square, we know the properties of a square. It has the same sides. All the sides are the same. So we simply need to take this part, multiply by this part. So we have the area, which is A multiplied by A. It will give us A squared. That is the area of a square. Area of a rectangle. We have length. Let us see height, length. The same procedure we take this side multiplied by this side it should give us the area so the area is the length multiplied by height we have triangle triangle the basic equation is half base multiplied by height with this information let us look at our question for today. The question for today it says the area of a rectangle is 96 centimeters squared. If the breadth of the rectangle is 8 centimeters, find its perimeter. Looking at the picture form of this, we have a rectangle with an area of 96 centimeter squared and the breadth is 8 centimeter. Well, you should know that even though you take this as a breadth, the answer will still be the same. You take this side as a breadth, this one, the answer will still be the same. Now, let us look at the perimeter actually gave out equations for area wells the question also needs the perimeter perimeter of a square if this is a a a we are going to have a plus a plus a plus a which will give us 4a remember that we are just looking at the continuous line of the boundary of the geometric figure the closed geometric figure or shape for the rectangle we have the height and the length we know that the properties of a rectangle opposite sides are the same so this will be the length and this will be the height so the perimeter will be the length plus the length plus height plus height which will give us two length plus two heights And then for a rectangle, let's say we have A, B, C. The parameter will be A plus B plus C. But what is important for today is this one. Since we are dealing with a rectangle shape. So this is the equation to calculate the parameter. Now looking at our question, we can clearly see that the problem is that we don't have this side but we know that this side is 8 centimeters because the opposite sides are the same so we need these sides to calculate the parameter now in order to do that we are going to use the area equation to find one of the unknown sides now looking at the area we can see that we have this we have this but we are looking for this To solve our equation our question I mean so here we have 96 centimeter squared and then the side we have 8 centimeters so we can just say the area is equals to the length multiplied by the height or the breadth in this case LB so we can go ahead and substitute 
our area and then we say the length is 8 and then we have the breadth we divide both sides by 8 we find that our breadth is actually 12 centimeters now according to this answer it actually channels us to do the correct thing so it simply means that this side should be the breadth and then this one will be 8 centimeters because this side cannot be shorter than this one so from here we do have all the sides And quickly rectify this we have 12 centimeter and then we have 8 centimeter here 8 centimeter here also here we have 12 so from here we can calculate our parameter we say our parameter is 2L in this case you can say 2B and then 2L is 12 plus 2 of B it's 8 then we have 24 plus 16 then we have our parameter as 40 centimeters so the correct option here it's option 4 That's it for this lesson video. This is Fabula SJ. Thank you very much.